Welcome to this tutorial about calibrating the eye tracking glasses using the Smart Recorder. Users have questions about the calibration process, such as what is calibration and is it necessary? What is zero point calibration? What calibration types are there and how do I choose? How do I perform a one point calibration? Let's take a look at the calibration process to answer these questions. Let's answer the question, what is calibration and is it necessary? Calibration is a process of adjusting the ETG to the eyes of an individual. It is a way to improve the accuracy of the gaze data. Is calibration necessary? No, you do not need manual calibration in order to run an experiment. Zero-point calibration begins as soon as the glasses are put on. This happens automatically, and if accuracy is precise enough, you can start recording immediately. What calibration types are there, and how do I choose? Zero-point calibration begins as soon as the glasses are put on. This happens automatically, and if accuracy is precise enough, you can start recording immediately. One-point calibration improves accuracy over zero-point. This is the best calibration to use when working at consistent distances. One-point calibration requires one landmark in the scenery. Three-point calibration also improves accuracy over zero-point. Three-point is the best calibration to use when working at different distances. This calibration type requires three points in the scenery, all of which should be set at a distance of 1.5 meters or five feet from the participant. So how does zero point calibration work? Once the glasses are put on, zero point calibration happens automatically. When the glasses are first put on, the cursor appears red for a new participant. While calibration is occurring, the cursor turns to yellow and then changes to green once calibration is complete. How do I perform a one-point calibration? One-point calibration improves accuracy over zero point. It is the best calibration to use when working at consistent distances and requires a single landmark in the scenery. To perform one-point calibration, Wait for the cursor to turn green, indicating zero point calibration is complete. Define a participant by clicking the Create Participant button if one is not defined. Then press Calibrate and choose one point calibration to start the calibration process. To perform one point calibration, follow the on-screen instructions. A computer monitor is being shown here as a tool for calibration for this demo only. Normally, a landmark in the scenery is used for a participant. First, ask the participant to look at the landmark you have chosen in the scenery. Then tap the screen of the smart recorder to freeze the image while the participant is looking at the landmark. Locate the blue crosshair that appears on the smart recorder screen and move the crosshair over to the exact landmark location in the frozen image. Then press Accept to complete calibration. Once one point calibration is complete, it will be listed under the participant name. You can use different calibration types for different participants in order to obtain the best accuracy for each participant. Three point calibration improves accuracy over zero point. This is the best calibration type to use when working at different distances. Three-point calibration requires three landmarks in the scenery, which should all be 1.5 meters or five feet from the participant. A computer monitor is being used for this calibration process demo only. Landmarks in the scenery should be used for experiments. Three-point calibration requires three landmarks for the calibration process. These landmarks must be located in a triangular pattern in the scenery for accurate results. Be sure to plan these triangular landmarks in advance of calibration. 
Also, be sure the participant fully understands where all three landmarks are located before beginning calibration. To perform three-point calibration, ask the participant to look at the first landmark you have chosen. Then tap the screen to freeze the image while the participant is looking at that first landmark. Locate the blue crosshair that appears on screen displaying the landmark number and move that crosshair over to the exact landmark location in the frozen image on the screen. Press Accept and repeat this process for the two remaining landmarks. The blue crosshair will display the landmark number you are calibrating so you know where you are in the calibration process. Three-point calibration is listed under the participant name once it has completed. It is also possible to use different calibration types for different participants in order to obtain the best accuracy. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on calibrating the ETG glasses using the Smart Recorder. As you can see, calibrating the ETG system is a simple process. Please contact SMI Support if you have additional questions about the calibration process.